Hey everybody, get on in here. It's my bird cup day. I'm celebrating the fact that this morning it's sunny but cold. I got me two tea bags and a cup of hot water with two scoops of vitamin C in it. Talk about getting ready and planting seeds. Let's just uh, enjoy the moment. Grab your cup, cup of something warm and wonderful. And as Scott Adams says, it's time for the simultaneous sip, except mine's so hot. But it, I, like to, I like to warm my hands. Dana Perino on the five, she, she likes to hug a cup too. So we have that in common. So everybody get your cup or your bottle of water. And for you little, little ones out there, grab your sippy cup of water because it's getting to be time for the simultaneous sip from Scott Adams. We may not have Scott here, but we have each other. Mm, mm, mm. Whoa, that's tart. Anyway, I'm celebrating this morning because I looked out on my back deck and at the feeder and in the trees were several, three, four, five, I don't know how many house finches. And if you've ever seen never seen a house finch look it up online a house finch is um it's like one of those little yellow birds except it's purple purplish red ish pinkish and they are absolutely gorgeous i mean gorgeous and they make me happy because they're coming through we'll soon be seeing um hummingbirds and yeah you know, it's just a beautiful sunny day even if it's cold outside the sun is shining and you can get some vitamin d tomorrow is uh, is is wednesday today is tuesday and i want to talk to you about planting seeds now i know this sounds strange but we all when we grew up we learned about johnny appleseed we all remember Johnny Appleseed. He went around the country planting apple seeds. Robert eats a half an apple every day. And he throws the apple out into an area on, off our back deck that the chipmunks like. And, and they enjoy getting to have a little sweet in their life. He doesn't usually eat all the, all the apple. But he throws it out there. And it's, it's just... It's pleasant to bless other things, critters, people. So in order to plant seeds, we need to have a system in place to do that. Now, many years ago, my friend Eric Dodge, he, he made this vision board of all the things that he wanted to accomplish. It, I don't know if he had a certain period of time to it. I don't have a clue about that. But he put pictures of all these things. And we've all had hopes and dreams. I've, I've made a control journal with pictures out of magazines of what I wanted our remodeled house to look like. I made um, a control journal of what I wanted our garden to look like. And guess what? It kind of does. I may not have ever looked at it again, but I've planted Every year I planted perennials and every year those perennials would come back up and I've planted bulbs and we don't have any grass. We have these wonderful perennials that make us smile. Like every year I get pictures of our crocuses. That's all we've got blooming right now. But you know, I've noticed chameleons blooming out in, out at the Chinese restaurant and there's a couple on the way down the mountain. They bloom February, early March and they're so pretty, but you got to plant the seeds. You got to plant the plants. You got to put something out there. They just don't magically happen. Well, we do have a magic flower in our front yard. 
and it's another thing that's blooming right now that Robert hates, but I absolutely love. And it's a forsythia. It's a yellow forsythia, and it's a happy plant. Robert doesn't like it because it just it's sprangly. He he doesn't he doesn't really care for it too much. But you know, a bird planted that, so that's a magical flower for me because it came up in my garden. And it makes me happy. And it won't be long before our azaleas will be blooming. <sighs> it's going to be so much fun. So folks, to, in order to accomplish the things that you want to do, maybe you need more hugs and more kisses. Guess what? You got to give more hugs and more kisses. You gotta set up a, a system for doing that. Date night, every night before you go to sleep, you kiss your sweet darling. And you, know, you set up these systems. If you want more of something, you've got to give more of something. So setting up those systems is going to help you to get what you really want. If you want more letters, you gotta write more letters. If you want more people to contact you on Facebook, you need to send them a message. If, if you want more tweets, then you got to tweet. It's just how it works. So folks, what is it you're wanting more of in your life? Now, this also pertains to your business life. Now, I have a friend, Tammy, you all know her. She works with our homeschoolers, but she's a real estate agent now, and Laura is, and, and, and my niece Jessica is. And in order for, uh, for her to get some listings, she had to plant some seeds. And she just listed the most amazing house I have ever seen. And it's in the county where my husband grew up. He grew up in Catawba County, uh, North Carolina. Um, the biggest town in Catawba County is Hickory. And you all may know of Hickory from John Reap, who's the comedian who does the Hemi commercials. But my husband grew up there. And, and Patty and, and Liz have this link that they're gonna post. You have to look at this house. But she planted the seeds several weeks ago because she saw a for sale by owner on this house. And she talked them into letting her list it. So, Patty, Liz, y'all post that link that, uh, um, that Tammy gave us. And this house, it was built in, I think, 1869. It is absolutely breathtaking. And if you've ever wanted to move from one of those northern states you're in to a more temperate area, now we do get snow, but it doesn't last long. Uh, and move down to North Carolina, check this house out. It is absolutely breathtaking. I mean breathtaking. And she's had to go through all the all the motions of getting the pictures made and all this wonderful stuff to get this house on the listing, uh, get this house listed. But there's somebody this house belongs to. There's somebody who's got this house on their vision board or in their control journal of things they want to have one day. There's somebody out there. And it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, beautiful. Yeah, I, 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 we have only had one big snow this year, and I'm so happy. So I think it's time to celebrate some of those seeds we've been planting, even though we can't plant them now if you've got snow. But that snow is like a nice little blanket for your flowers. That's what I think about it. So drink up. Mm-mm-mm. It's love in a cup. That's all it is. Just love in a cup. And it, it, it as Scott says, you got to go, mmm, after you drink it. You just got to go, mmm, after you, you take a little sip. But we got to plant those seeds. Planting the seeds of the things that we 
we desire, our hopes, our dreams, little little things. Like we started thinking about this back rail on our on our deck um, about a month ago and we checked out some places. We actually went and looked at some stuff. But it just didn't suit us. It did not suit us. But we had to figure out what we wanted. And I got on Lowe's, started looking around. I got on Pinterest and started looking around. And it's absolutely us. Somebody walked into our house one time and they said, this house looks just like you. How beautiful is that? Looks just like us. That's why a house should do that. I think I got this mug at um, Callaway Gardens. That is in, uh, I think it's in Georgia or might be in, yeah, it's in Georgia. It's close to Fort Benning, which is real close to where they had the tornadoes. But we went to Callaway Gardens and this, I always get a cup somewhere I go so I can remember, remember. Oh, that's right, Katie. Thanks for reminding me. This weekend... Our time changes, which also means we got to change the batteries in our smoke alarms, whether they need it or not. This is a rule I have. You have to change it, whether you need it or not. And then um, change your toothbrushes. Yes, get some new toothbrushes for everybody. I keep a supply of them, and they give us one when we get our teeth cleaned at the dentist. But just the time's going to change. And on Saturday and Saturday night, in the middle of the night, it's going to change for Sunday morning. But you can change your time earlier and start getting the kids uh, adjusted to it because they really don't like time change. So it's spring forward. We're going to lose an hour of sleep. So you can put the kids to bed 30 minutes earlier on Friday night, 30 minutes earlier than that on Saturday night. Guess what? They're used to it by then. Maybe. <laughs> Some, it takes our dogs about a week to get used to the time change. They still want their bones at their body time. So the time changes this weekend. Uh, let's see. What else do I need to tell you? <gasps> oh, 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 oh. We have an end date for the for our carpet sweeper. Let me see if I can reach it without bending. I can't, I gotta bend over. And that messes up my pillow in the back to keep my back straight. Carpet sweeper ends on March the 15th. That's the Ides of March. That's my nephew's birthday and my sister Susan's birthday. Today is my sister Dina's birthday. I'm not telling how old she is. Nope, not gonna tell it. But I am so proud of her, you would not believe how proud I am of her. She is getting in. She's beating me all the heck, you know? She's getting in 10,000 steps every day. And I am so proud of her. So proud of her. I have only been able to do that a couple of times. Only a couple of times in my life have I been able to do that. And she is a miracle to me. She's been through a whole lot in her little life. And she survived a head-on car collision. But that car crash messed up her knees. Where she had had knees replaced from uh, all the work that she all the walking she had to do and she is getting in 10,000 steps with her new knees she had to have four knee replacements everybody four I was there with her for two of them four knee replacements and I'm going up and down my stairs I've already done six times today 12 is what I try to do every day but that's a plus for me because I'm not used to that either. <laughs> so happy birthday to Sister Dina. And 
It's just a good day. And it's Fat Tuesday, which means tomorrow is the first day of Lent. And we've been practicing this. We've been practicing getting rid of a bag of a bag of clutter every day. A bag a day. 40 bags in 40 days. And tomorrow is when you can start it for Lent if you want to get rid of a bag. So 40 bags in 40 days. You got that? It's going to be fun. It's really going to be fun for us. And we've been doing it. We did it in February. But let's really jump in for Lent and let's get rid of uh, a bag a day. Some people like to add something and take away something. Uh, one time I fasted for Lent. I fasted for three weeks. So folks, here's to getting rid of some things for Lent. A bag a day. A pancake day is any day you want to make pancakes, I think. Lent is for 40 days, and then that's when Easter will be. So Easter's going to be in April this year. Well, it's a late Easter this year, which means we won't get snowed out, maybe. I'm looking at all your comments. So folks... We got to plant some seeds. Whatever we want, we got to plant those seeds. If you want your house decluttered, you got to start planting those seeds of, of your abundance at the goodwill. You plant those seeds. Bless someone else with your abundance. Because we got too much stuff. We really do have too much stuff. So let's get rid of our clutter. Let's make our homes one of those welcoming places in our lives. I'll never forget we got a testimonial one time from a lady who lived in Israel. And she said, you know, at, at that point in time, all that was on the news was about the bombings and the, 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 the car bombings in Israel and how terrible um, it was for people living there. Israel's a small country. And it just, it broke my heart. But she said, since I found you, I've created this place of peace from when we're out in the world and we're scared for our lives because of car bombs and terrorism and stuff, which they still have this, these things going on. Their bombs are being launched at them. Um, but that's not in the news anymore because it's not important to them, to the news media. They're only after one thing, and that's our president. So, but she said, now that I found Fly Lady, I can, I can, when we come home, our home is so peaceful that we can just relax instead of being surrounded by clutter. And that's what I want for you. I want you to plant the seeds of peace in your home every day by shining that sink, by getting dressed to lace up shoes, by having dinner fixed every night for your family. I'm cooking barbecue chicken tonight with roasted potatoes and probably with roasted Brussels sprouts and country fried potatoes. Yum. Onions and potatoes. It doesn't get any better. Maybe a little bacon. So folks, plant some seeds in your house. Plant some wonderful seeds that you can, can reap the benefits of. You know, it, it takes nine months. It took me nine months to create a home that was beautiful for us. Nine months of, of um, working having this system in place, this fly lady system. It wasn't even fly lady system then. It was just me. And having this piece going through a morning routine, an afternoon routine, a before bed routine, decluttering five minutes morning, afternoon, and evening, 
getting rid of the things that we didn't love in our lives. I'm getting my magic wand so I can see everything, all the comments. It took me nine months to create a new me is what I was doing. It, it wasn't that I was, I was creating a new atmosphere in my heart for my home. No longer was it a burden. I mean, we've been taught since we were little as women, we can have it all. We can fry up the bacon, bring it home. And you know, you know the song, but nobody ever showed us how. I'm showing you how to do it. How to set up these simple little systems for changing your life. And at the same time, you're gonna bless your family. You're gonna bless everyone around you. You can do this. You really can do this. It's so simple. It's really simple. You just have this routine that you do in the morning when you first get up and that you're on automatic pilot. And then you set some reminders for yourself during the day. I have reminders to get up and move down my steps and I'm getting on my watch. I'm, I'm standing up every hour, which my watch loves that because they're just excited. It's my watch is quite a cheerleader for me. My Apple watch. It's telling what the temperature is now. I want that to go away. Anyway, we plant the seeds. Plant the seeds of success in your life by having these little systems in place to change things. And if you do it every day, that's the consistency of it. Do it every day and you are going to be so wonderful. What is that? Can we talk about getting past guilt this week? Yes, that's a good idea, Martha. We'll do that. Because right now I'm going to absolve you of all guilt. We have no guilt. All we got to do is ask our Heavenly Father for forgiveness and it's over with. Just get rid of it. It's over with. He will forgive you and that means... You're not better than God, so you have to forgive yourself. Uh, do a Google search for the king cake. You have to put a little baby in it. <laughs> it's always a cute thing for for a Fat Tuesday. And, and I, we might put on some uh, New Orleans music, some Zydeco, and, and get some brass going just so you feel like you're in New Orleans for Fat Tuesday. So keep everybody in um, Beauregard, Alabama, in your thoughts and prayers. That was an EF4 tornado that went through there. 23, 24 people just left this earth. Uh, it's tough. It's really tough. Those storms pop up. So make sure you have an app on your phone. Make sure you get alerts on your phone for um, hurricanes and uh, tornadoes and what is the other thing? Oh, I, I like Amber Alerts too. And your phone goes off. I mean, sometimes our phone, mine and Robert's phone goes off at the same time. <laughs> I love you all. I'm planting some seeds. I'm loving you. So you love somebody else. Let's pay it forward. So there comes my husband. The garage door is coming up. And that's my cue. I got to go put dinner on and put the groceries away. We have a system. So plant some seeds. Plant a kiss on somebody. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow.